Video gaming and online content would change forever in October of 2007 when the Orange Box came out. The Orange Box was a bundle that included all Valve created games like Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Portal, and Team Fortress 2, of course. Yo, what's going on? It's my fucking Justin, and today is going to be a throwback video. And with anything content creation-wise, it always starts somewhere, and for me, it all started on Team Fortress 2. Online first-person shooting games in general started on Team Fortress 2 for me. I first got Team Fortress 2 in 2007, a week after that game came out. My dad and I went to a GameStop, and he told me to pick one game, and I had heard about this game, and I had been wanting it since I knew that the game even existed. On TV, I would always see commercials for the orange box. What's inside the orange box? The deepest multiplayer game of the year. The orange box, October 10th. I would watch G4 TV and they would always be talking about Half-Life and more than anything in the world I wanted my dad to purchase the orange box for me I was 12 years old so it was rated M and I, I couldn't buy it and I'll never forget it when we were at the checkout counter the guy who sold it to us actually said that game won a lot of awards you're gonna enjoy this and I was thinking like fuck yeah you're damn right I'm going to enjoy this I loved Half-Life. It was awesome. Portal was awesome. And I beat all of those games. However, in that bundle, there was one game that had always eluded me. Team Fortress 2 was the only one that was left. So I gave it a try. The animations were incredible. The colors of things, the sounds of things, all of that was awesome. This game would go on to change my perspective on gaming as a whole. It would get me more embedded into playing online games. It gave me a reason to sit on YouTube and rewatch and search Team Fortress 2 videos. Do the OGs out there who were playing this game since day one remember this video? Do you remember Owned by a Medic? Were you even there for that? Because I was. Be moved, we must fight. Escape or we'll die. Cows gathered around because the stakes were so high. Bad cow pun. But then he was captured, stuffed into a crate, loaded onto a truck where he rode to his feet. From day one, I came into the game and fell in love with it, all the way up until the game's ultimate demise. And for today only, we are going to remember TF2 before it became free to play, before there was hats, before the lack of updates, before trade servers, before people would spam chat trying to scrap mine, before all the bullshit. Today, we revisit and remember Team Fortress 2 for its core game, and we try to see if it's still fun 10 years later. Tactically 11. Welcome to the Shock Tag. Let's try and flank them. Oh my. What the? <laughs> Haven't played this game in a really long time, like two years and that's actually kind of crazy to say that i haven't played this game in two years and this is my first time being back i don't know where the q button is like before you just pressed a button and like you could like look at servers or whatever these are contracts and i don't exact like i don't know if community servers are even still a thing the live streaming tab still exists but um i'm just taking a look at my hats right now i really don't even remember what i have and haven't sold because it's been so long. But uh, to give you guys a little rundown, if you've been following my channel for a long time, then you would know that uh, I actually ended my time playing this game on a very negative note. I resented this game. I actually kind of hated it. I didn't just feel betrayed as a loyal player to this game, but I felt betrayed as a consumer and a customer. I've poured thousands of hours into this game and money for that matter. And I just felt like there is no excuse whatsoever for the treatment that this game got. Believe it or not, I was very cautious of Overwatch. I didn't think that Overwatch was going to be good. I honestly thought that it was going to flop, and I had a lot invested into Team Fortress 2. I don't want to spend too much time on this topic, but the last straw for me was the end of the line update. It had been hyped up for like a year, and all it was was, of course, microtransaction, 
bullshit. And in my opinion, the last actual good update was the Two Cities update. That update was awesome. It added content while keeping the stuff that we liked like prim and proper. But none of that matters anymore because honestly, enough time has passed and I forgive this game. It gave me a lot of great, really great hours of playing this. I had some of the funniest moments of my entire life with my really good friends that I've met. I made some really good YouTube videos from this game and I'm ready to rekindle the love. I'm ready to see if Team Fortress 2 is still fun in 2018, 2019. Seriously though, where the fuck is the fucking button? There was a button before where you could like choose capture the flag or choose uh, attack defense. Is it this? I seriously like don't, am I dumb? Like I don't know where the fucking button is. Okay. It's there conveniently next to the close game button for some reason. To really assert that I am an old school player of this game, we're going to turn off the bullshit. Payload? It's overrated. Moving King of the Hill sucks. I don't like it. Never liked it, to be honest. We'll shut off King of the Hill for now. And here's where the beauty begins. We're going to remove almost all of these maps, except for one of them. And that's Dust Bowl. People who didn't play this game on launch hate Dust Bowl. And I know that there's a community of people out there who are just like me. They love this game because of maps like Dust Bowl. They love this game because of maps like Two Fort. I'm queued for casual, apparently. Remember before when you just joined a server? Oh, hey, that was actually pretty quick. Look at my hours. Holy shit. Two Fort! Hey, look, it's Sin. We're taking off all the bullshit. The We're doing stock. Fucking everything, dude. Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the Christmas lights on. Why not? The ham, dude, in the pan. I love it. We'll keep the pan on, too, because that's probably what we suck. Why is my HUD like this? Uh, I'm going to figure out how to fix that, because this is about stock TF2, not, not this, whatever this is. Okay, I fixed it. Oh, my goodness. Why is my sensitivity so low? People being friendly... <laughs> Some stuff just literally doesn't change, dude. And I was the free-to-play sniper there. I easily would have known that he was there. That's so funny. This game has not changed a goddamn bit. Minus, like, the ridiculous, like, items and stuff like that. This game has not changed. You guys want to know something that's really crazy? Back in the day, in 2007, when you play this game, this would be hell. Like, this would be the best kind of hell, too. Not, like, a bad hell, but this would be two teams, like, fucking going at each other, trying to get each other's intelligence. And when this game first came out, there was quite a number of bugs regarding Engineer and his teleporter. There would be fucking sentries behind this. There would be... Here, I'll show you guys. I apparently can brandish weapons, too. That's very interesting. There would be teleporters and sentries inside of here and stuff like that. There was all sorts of really fucked up shit that you could do just with the Engineer's teleporter. Got him! Yeah, the helmet that I didn't hit. There was a little bit of latency with that vines were a thing on this game what if your dope was on fire i have like 30 of them okay i don't respond to underage people try my cell phone and the following vine and i think this one's the one that goes to it no that's for wwshop.com okay there it is my cell phone number is 212-479-7990 call me anytime and i'll tell you how wrong you are so go ahead and call me oh hey there fella hello <laughs> random crits Charge. How was that not a fucking double kill? You know what my favorite part of Team Fortress 2 is? How is he alive? You know what my favorite part of TF2 is? Overwatch doesn't have this. Get a load of this. Build that. Build that. God damn it. All right, guys. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And maybe I'll do other things. Who knows? Hey, I'm back. I actually just went to the store. And interestingly enough, I wasn't kicked out. Wow. It's like this game gives you more than 30 seconds to go and be human. Whereas Overwatch doesn't allow you to do human things. Gotta go pee? No. 
you fucking stay or you get kicked. Fuck you. But with this game, if, you know, you gotta go pee. Maybe you're thirsty. I was thirsty, you know, I got up, I went pee, got a drink, got a snack, ran to the store, did some push-ups, called some girls. I had time to do things. Overwatch doesn't allow you to do that. If you stop moving, you're fucked. You get kicked. Even now, I am still standing in spawn, and it's not giving me an error warning message being like, you better move. If you don't move, you're gonna get kicked out. This is what happens on Overwatch when you don't move. All right, guys, I'm gonna go do something. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'll tr I'm gonna speed run it. I'll be back. I already got a kill. See, I'm doing good. I'm so proud. All right, guys, I'm back, and I went as fast as I could. I actually took off my pants and then left the room and then peed and then sprinted back, and I haven't put on my pants yet. And I see that I've still been kicked. You're not allowed to be human on this game. You're not allowed to have human things going on in real life while you play this game. It's Overwatch or it's fuck off. We're here on my favorite map. We're on Dust Bowl. I like to see what we needed because Dust Bowl is a pretty competitive map. And I thought that... Having another medic is always good. Medic is actually fun on this game. Interesting thing to note is that being a healer on this game is a respected role. Very respected. Unlike the other game. I have a weird gun. Yo, love hammer. This is for you, dude. Let's go get him. You're good, you're good. Kill them all. I'm backing out. Back out soon. Medic, give heal me. I have I have crits. Hold on, hold on. Going, going, heavy going. Yeah, we'll kill them all. Hit, kill the heavy behind you, there you go. Nice. Nice job guys, keeping that push going. Or sorry, keeping them from pushing. Oh no, that sucks. Do we cut the it's okay, the heavy's up still. Oh my god. Spy, 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 spy. Alright, I'm backing out. Spy spy. Bye. Nice. Fucking trap him in the corner. All right, I'm really trying to give this game a thorough playthrough that it deserves because I am somebody who played this game in 2007 and I did enjoy it for what it was back then. And I understand this game has developed to what it is now and although I personally don't like it, I understand that there are a pretty decent amount of people who do still love this game even for what it is currently. And I was pleasantly surprised to try to jump into competitive to see this message. You are about to queue for a match that will penalize you with a matchmaking cooldown if you abandon. Please be sure that you can commit to playing the entire match, which could last up to an hour or more. Now, I love that it includes this bottom part here, and uh, I don't want this video to be entirely a, hey, Overwatch and TF2, because they're both their own unique games that are good and bad for their own unique reasons. The last time I played this, as you can see, was in 2016 as well, so that's almost three years ago. Well, I guess two years ago because it was in July, but um, my kill death was 0.7. That's really high. The last time that I played this was when it first came out, and it took well over an hour to find a game. It took well over an hour to find all of these games. We'll see how I do if I could even get into a game. I'm not sure if people would even be playing this, but we will find out. I will cut to then. Love ya. Just found a game. And it's been about 15 minutes, which uh, I don't expect it to be fast. It is what it is. Yeah, 
Yay. Oh, that's just sad. Finally! Alright, we've been waiting for this person to join for quite a while now, but I think they'll actually make it in here. It's weird that they haven't fixed it yet, because I remember this was a thing when this did first come out. Yet again, it happens. That game took 20 minutes to find, and the game before that took about 20 minutes to find. So we will give it one more go, and if it doesn't work, then I will say that this is fucked, and we'll give up on it. See you there. <sighs> okay. I just got done watching two 15 minute videos, so it has been 30 minutes since I've been searching. It took 20 minutes for the first one, 20 minutes for the second one. So it's been over an hour that I've tried to play TF2 competitive. And, uh, you know, I said I would give up, and I. This is me giving up. <laughs> There's nothing more to it. I do think, though, uh, that I want to say that when competitive was in beta and there was tickets that you had to play for it. I actually did a giveaway of those tickets, and it would have been much more fun had I not given those away, because all those tickets really led to was waiting. Mostly it's a shame, though, because what I'm finding is, is that it's the most fun to play this game when both teams are trying. And what is a surefire way to make sure that there's no friendlies or people messing around, but to go into competitive mode? So it's a little bit sad. I think that had Team Fortress 2 had a good competitive from the get-go, and... It was better, there was better servers, it was able to put people in the correct corresponding server according to their area, similar to how Overwatch has North America, Asia, and the, the EU servers. This game would have had a lot more time left in it because that's what people were itching for was a more serious version of this game. And this didn't deliver with it because you just go and you queue just to have these really long wait times. And then at the time when I was playing it, there was hackers in it. So it's kind of just unfortunate that it never really got the opportunity that it deserved to go to the places that it could have went. I do think that in spirits, it would have did really good had it had the love that it deserved. Moving on though. You know, it's really weird, but I am still being dropped Halloween 2018 boxes. Is there something that I'm missing here? It's December 7th. It's time for the classic man versus machine i'm gonna keep it real with you guys i think that man versus machine like the overall game mode was one of the most important things that was ever added to team fortress 2 it was really fun and it gave like a whole new dimension of playing this game so it was awesome and i'm really excited to play this right now again we're doing wave 666 obviously the most fun wave out of all of them it's free it's ridiculous you get to supercharge all your weapons right from the get-go so i'm excited for it you know this is what i used to always do back in the day I would put on the cow mangler, which I have a strange one. That's pretty interesting. We'll keep the conch on. I remember back in the day that rocket specialists didn't upgrade properly. I don't know if they ever fixed it. it. For all I know, it probably still wasn't fixed. But upgrading it once was all that you needed to do. The magic conch shell. Corrupt these big mother frickers. I remember this was the hard part was where the spies were, because there was hella tanks. <sighs> Look at all these fucking spies doing really shit. You're corrupted. I love the coming with those. Like, look how satisfying that is to just corrupt them. There's just so much of them. It's a good thing that I'm getting them, though, but I think we're going to lose this. And they just keep coming. Okay, we really gotta do some work. We barely fucking got that. And there's still this one coming. I don't think we can do it. Don't you fucking do it. Oh my god, it's so low. Come on, please. Fuck yeah. Forget about it. 
We win. God damn! That was my first try, too. I still got it, dude. Are there stats for this? Where are my stats? 106,000 damage. How impressive. I didn't even get anything, but that's what it's all about. Is I got fun out of it. That was actually very fun. I missed that a lot. It's really unfortunate that Overwatch doesn't have a year-round thing that you can just do, like, co-op stuff with. Like, I, it's weird. They have two events that have co-op. And they're once a year for, like, two weeks. Why? Why not have something year-round? Thanks for playing Man vs. Machine. Man up for more. You know what? Maybe I will one day. All right. It's time to do something silly and fun like all the other post-free-to-play YouTube people did. We're on good old Hightower right now. We got the specialized kill streak sticky jumper because I have one of these. And uh, we got the Marker Gardener. The Demo Man Marker Gardener. Oh, I was never super into Hightower, but there's a lot of charm. I'm, I'm having nostalgia feels right now. I'm going to die. Maybe not. He didn't run me down. Good guy. This counts. Damn it. just don't die. Counts. This is gonna count too. Come on, why is he moving backwards? All right, back on 240 again with the silly strategies. We're going into the water area, the sewer, where I belong, so I can be an elusive pyro shark. This guy's gonna run right into me. Just you wait. What I fucking tell you. It's like I'm playing Brigitte. Wow. I really miss this game. I didn't want to ask this question, but we're nearing the end of our video, and is Team Fortress 2 still fun in 2018, and is Team Fortress 2 a good game? My answers are yes and yes. I have finally forgiven Team Fortress 2 after the two years because this game has given me 10 years, 11 years of really priceless moments. And despite the last few of those years being really bad, there's absolutely no replacing what this game once was and what it always will be in my heart and in my life. And I was kind of thinking about it. I don't really think that anybody that this game has reached actually goes away from this game forever. I think that, dare I say it, they just go idle. It's a shame that this game will never be competitive or will have a competitive mode like Overwatch has because I would be all over that. But I do think that I will always come back to this game, even if it's just to screw around on Dust Bowl. What's your guys' favorite Team Fortress 2 memory? Comment it down below. Like the video if you enjoyed. As always, I'm Justin, you're motherfucking not. I love you guys. Love Team Fortress 2. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I never was in love.